Hey, traders, welcome back. Well, whatever. Yeah, welcome back, I guess. Yeah, because uh, I did a live stream earlier at like 2.30 or 3.30 Eastern. Now I'm back for part two, and of course, part three is going to be tonight. Why not, man? One, you know, went an hour. Instead of like two hours here, I went an hour much earlier in the day, and I went on, I went live an hour later for this time because we have, you know, 50 minutes until the daily close and we'd like to maybe be live during that time instead of like you know sometimes man trying being live for two hours dude that can it's tough man it's not easy go ahead go get your microphone and your camera and uh, try to entertain people for two hours minimum all right all the time it's not easy but uh, so that's what i'm saying like i spread it out into three live streams instead of just two today just because why not man who cares Music should be a bit funky. If it's not, check your pulse. Where Bitcoin is currently, yeah, I mean, I can't, oh my god, man, like, look. The way it's on the daily, these two yellow trend lines you see, horizontal lines, I mean, that is uh, old areas of re support that were areas of resistance. We've, we've since broken that resistance, dudes. All right. The daily, the candle closes. Candle look closes. But we're trying to uh, back test and really break it and go, right? Like uh, you broke, you've hooked, you hooked again, you hooked a third time, and now you're bullishly engulfing. So that's a break, hook, 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 and go. Maybe, right? Uh, daily confirmation will be better, but hey, dude, this that's great that we're holding this uh, 5844 area as support right now, whereas earlier we were not. So uh, I think you're developing MACD divergence I think you have RSI divergence but just I mean if you keep pumping like this you'll just start moving to the upside and you'll make higher levels of relative strength but it'll still probably be divergence from the previous peak all right so let's go to the daily real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about 
All right, earlier in the day stream, we were struggling. I mean, we had already run up to almost 6,000, 5974, but we had pulled back and we just were unable for an hour to break above 5848 again, all right? Critical area, why? And this is what I'm showing you. This is why. Candle, low, close. On the four hour, we're hitting that area and bouncing off of it. Hey, Todd Bazaar, man, says uh, mental hygiene. Thanks, dude. And also, uh, thanks to Martin O for the two Canadian dollars. So thank both of y'all for the super chats. Much love. Really appreciate it. Okay. So there you go, man. Closing above this area, I think, is very good. But you can see, really, what, what's... There is a wick back from August 14th, 2018 that we're, I guess, regarding as resistance right now. All right, we're hitting it and just stalling. It's very hard to see. So, uh, whatever, man, that's what's being hit. And there's another candle wick at, like, 59.20. But, you know, it seems like uh, if we break that, you know, you're going to have some wicks at 6,000. But the real strong resistance will be up at, uh, for real, will be, like, 6,100, 6,150. Okay, that's the big one. That's, like... That's where all the defenses are for the humans, right? The, the White Walkers, are, they just breached uh, They just breached King's Landing, man, in the throne room of 6150. Oh my god, dude. White Walkers coming for you. Definitely are. Alright, still got high. Higher high. Highest high, or higher high, now highest high. And you're starting to break to the upside on the RSI. Watch, you can see it. Now starting to make some higher highs than that previous high, but still lower than this level. Right, so you must break above 75, and that's your previous high. But uh, again, overall, I think you're still going to be making lower levels relative strength at these areas up here if we can get there. All right, but this is great development with only 45 minutes left. Would be great to see us close above these two yellow trend lines. That's awesome, man. Very good. Okay, this is kind of a reiteration of the analysis, making some more moves. Towards the close, showing some strength towards the close. That's always good, man. So we'll be here with you when that daily closes to see if any kind of volatility happens. All right. Most of the time it doesn't, but sometimes it does. So we're going to be around. All right. Mm, Erwin Coffee, get wrecked. Everyone that doesn't like it, because I love it. I mean, everyone that tries it loves it, but I'm just making fun of the people from before. Ugh, no one cares about your coffee. I care. So, Skyward, dude, Gerard, Simon Stricker, what's up, dude? It's time for XRP. I think people have been saying that for five months now. Okay, so falling on deaf ears here. What's up, Adam Anderson? Jake Roberts, XRP 3PO, Beat Bop. Beep blah blah. Oh my god, my nose is just man. DT Crypto, hello. 17 Slavic. Sol Solovic. That's gotta be it, right? Thanks, dude, for being here. Bald and Bearded, ES Trading, Dan Crowell, True Stoner Man. What's up, uh, Bones420? Melissa was able to hang out with us in the, the midday stream, I guess, or afternoon stream. We missed you, man. What's up, uh, guy gamer? Dead cat bounce of my schedule? Is it a dead cat bounce? I don't know if that's really the... I don't know if that's how it's... It's not really it. It's just being me being a little bit more sporadic and just streaming more often than I normally would, I guess, or just spread out. Hey, Mr. Lucky dude. Yeah, I saw you ask that. I looked. It's not on TradingView, dude. I can't find it, dude. I did. I typed that in, and I looked everywhere. I just even typed an APL, and it wasn't there, man. So I'm sorry. I can't on... on trading view all right looking for tornadoes they may be coming dude yeah dude i mean okay dude i mean sure this can keep building man you can keep on building and it gets higher and higher and higher and i mean we could be at 73 on the rsi at much higher 6200 before it finally rounds out but for now it's just still building okay breaking out of an upsloping structure which is great man what's up simone thanks for joining all right Straight up, dude. The flag. That's a that's a lot. Remember, we said it was like, which one was it on? Was it bit uh bit stamp that we had that plotted? Remember the upsloping flag measure move. I'm trying to remember. Yes. 
So, you know, upsolving flags. This is beautiful on Bitstamp. It's so well, so uh, well respected. Um, we break that. I mean, a measure move. Just talking about the measure principle, which I don't know how you're getting there, but if you if you do want to make that measure move, you're it's at sixty three sixty eight. Okay, which is right around that square up level where things just started crashing down. Right. So that's where we could go possibly, but. Hard to say, man. You're right at that uh, August 13th, 14th, uh, 2018 level, right? And then the old flash crash, uh, huge bear trap back from February 7, 2018. What's up, Colin Hannon? Thanks for being here. Welcome. Okay, so there, we have breached areas of resistance, and they're very weak comparative to what's above us. And what's above us is between 6,100 and 6,150. All right, that's it. That is it, man. All right, and again, positive momentum could, could just keep building. So uh, I know that it is lower risk to go short up here, but just remember we're talking about a, just a textbook upsloping flag, and we're talking about a textbook measure move. All right, that's it. But overwhelming resistance above us when it starts getting to 6,100, okay? But for now, yeah, dude. I mean, the fact that we broke that and we're holding it, this, that's a big deal, dude. That's a huge deal. See if we can sustain that going into the close, the daily close, and the four-hour close. Hey, guess what? Bullish engulfing candle today. All right, working on it. Almost seems certain that there, it will be bullishly engulfing, no matter what you do. Okay. <sighs> Momo ship, man. I mean, like, it all started when we broke this crazy down sloping resistance. Big deal, man. Broke it, golden cross. But, dude, divergence is there, or it's going to be there no matter what. All right, look, I mean, you're already starting to build. See, it's just getting higher and higher and higher. It could just become invalid. Just keep going higher, man. All right, so bulls have the ball, but it's, uh, I don't know. The fact that bulls have the ball, is it really, I mean, like, taking a low risk? There's no low risk long trades up here, dude. I'm sorry. I mean, unless you're trying to be a breakout buyer. And it's like, you want to try to go for the trade of the upsloping flag measure move when we've got stupid amounts of uh, crazy resistance above us at the 6,100 area? Or 6,070 6, to 6,150. Okay, so it's like a almost $100 range. All right, so we'll see if we can get that close. Above 5,870, it'd be amazing. King Hoddle, what's up, dude? What's up, Munsters? Kim, are you shorted at 59.55? Man, well, you got a nice, uh, really nice short. It's just like we are starting to break critical resistance now. Okay. And positive momentum continues to build. So, I mean, you're bullishly engulfing on the four hour and the daily right now. Okay. Octoman PC is gross, Kappa. But kind of not Kappa, right? For the wall. Jane DeMarco, man! Cinder Raven! But yeah, yeah, for the wall, dude. For the wall. No, this is for the throne room, dude. We're breaching. Right now, this is breaching King's Landing. Okay, we've broken the wall down. We're trying to. Like, it, there's always the chance that the humans, the scrub humans, could push us back they might have some sort of you know dragon glass mechanism set up to wreck us right here but currently we're it's going quite well for the white walkers the white walkers that uh, have been kang since we breached the wall of 4200 april april 1st and it's just been kind of a route of westeros to this point and again man red keep 6150 dude 6130, whatever. Okay. Thank you, uh, Gene DeMarco, for the $20 super check. Thanks. My God. So stay at home, Dad. Sorry, just getting through chat, talking about uh, what's happening, all the scenarios. I mean, it seems like, you know, taking short up here, of course, low risk and all that, but uh, dang, dude, the fact that we're breaching here, big deal. Very significant development. Developments occurring on Bitcoin, and you know what's hilarious? Hey, stock market. Opened uh, down 473 points. It was a bad day. Bad day for the stock market. But not for Bitcoin. 
was interesting. It was good. Kevin Phillips, hello, man. Hey, late better than never, right? Brian Nowick, what's up, party people? What's up, uh, what's up, Trump fan? Trump train, how you doing, man? Gang Logan, how you doing, man? Hello, Julia. Kobe McCord, welcome. Uh, a dipster. I can't, I always think I, I'm saying your name wrong, dipster, dude. All right, sorry, man. Well, holy crap. Do we have more upside potential? Yes. Uh, the fact that we're breaking this right now is uh, extreme, extremely important. All right. Uh, I mean, like, so you broke in the resistance of the candle low close and the wicks, and now you have, again, only two wicks left. If you can break it, which you already are, like you're already starting to, you've already broken it once, okay, you're showing that buying pressure. I mean, that's not going to hold up very well, dude. That's not very good resistance. I mean, there's resistance at 6,014, but it's just over here back from October of 2017 on the, on the way up. So it's probably not going to be regarded as much. But uh, there are like three wicks over here you can barely even see. If you pull it up on your chart, you can see it with me. That like coincides with like all this other like candle low close here and like the wicks, this vast amount of wicks. And that's again at like 6,060. So, I mean, it seems very likely we could hit that if all things stay the same right now, unless we just start pulling back. And we're currently sitting at 5,900 right now on cone base. That's great, man. Showing a lot of strength right now going into the close. But again, 37 minutes, I've seen crazy stuff happen where things look good and then 10 minutes left and then it just you know, like goes crazy the other way. All right, so we're waiting for confirmation of a close above this 5875 area. All right. The shock market? Not really. I mean, dude, nonstop bull, uh, I mean, Nonstop recovery from December 26th to like a few days ago. No shock at all on the stock market pulling back at all. And it would make it would be it make things seem a lot more normal if we actually pull back way more than where we are right now. We just hit all time highs on the stock market. And once we did that, I mean, we barely did. And then we've already sold off. OK, so could be seeing much lower prices. I mean, it could have been the, the top of the impulse. All right. A new one could be beginning now. I don't know about that, Brian, man. <laughs> but I can read uh, who's having whose babies, man. Okay. Back in back in the day, dude. All right. Kappa. What's up, Jay? Jay Logan Gibson. Welcome, man. Hello, Lindsay. Rhino. Jared Loving. Encrypted Broker. What's up, dude? Can we look at total? Yeah, we can look at total, man. Why not? Why not look at total, dude? I think I was going to do it earlier. I think I got uh, distracted or something. Here we go, dude. Wow, I'm glad you asked, bro. I'm so freaking glad you asked to look at total. Jeez, man, I haven't looked at this in a while. I haven't looked at it since we plotted these first two trend lines, man. Beautiful, man, beautiful. All right, we had a little false breakout of our ascending triangle, but immediately the next day, bullish Harambe back into the pattern, then back tested the area as a support again before running and then breaking, hooking, 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 but not bullishly engulfing, right? So we uh, broke a critical resistance and we back tested it three times, bullish Harambe, right? And now another back, so four back tests, four days in a row, we back tested this, um, 180 billion dollar market cap for the crypto space total crypto space before now big green candle uh 190 billion we saw today at some point that's the highest level of market cap we've seen since november 14th 2018 wow long time man been a long long time great dude but hey look if i'm just talking i don't know okay if total market cap hey man i didn't really know oops sorry I didn't really know. I was like, I said the same thing. I was like, I don't, is, is technical analysis going to work here? Because we got all the makings of a varsity athlete with a bullish divergence at a 78.6% retrace with a double bottom. Well, the double bottom came a little bit like a week later after our entry. 
But sure enough, it, it did. It certainly did. And it's so funny. We hit our third target for this huge, huge bearish engulfing candle, but something happened. We broke out of a downsloping resistance we had been in all year and then held it as support, bullish Harambe, and then side, slightly upsloping, and then gone, dude. Gone. So again, a measure move of this ascending triangle, if it's to play like that, would be like $205 billion market cap. That's it. That's all I can tell you. Another way we can do this, if we wanted, from the previous high, the height of the triangle to that uh, false breakout bottom, right? 156 billion. Uh, ooh, we've hit the we hit the 1414 fib extension. We also hit the 1272 fib extension a couple times on, on the first breakout candle and the one after it. And so uh, we got even higher today. Again, uh, 190, and then the 1618 fib extension is at 195 billion dollar market cap. All right, so just getting some targets this way. Okay, man. Okay, that's great news. It's crazy, dude. So this played out. We'll see if this plays out. Ascending triangle after an impulse of this. Stupendous. Stupendous. Has coins of S the bed? Yes, they have. And there's a reason for that, and we can look at it if you would like. This is why altcoins. Your favorite Beanie Babies, they can be tie-dyed, they, uh, they can be global banking solutions, they can uh, be special edition Beanie Babies. All of your Beanie Babies are getting destroyed because right now we're making the highest level of uh, Bitcoin dominance, market cap dominance that we've seen since September 2018. You go any higher, I mean, you go any higher than uh, 61%. You're going back to great FOMO levels of Bitcoin dominance, but as it stands now, you are bullishly engulfing, bullishly maru bazooing right now on your daily time scale. Complete bullish domination while engulfing. But yeah, definitely showing, you know, you're making higher prices and you're making lower levels relative strength every time. But exceeding the 786 retrace, we were at 59.58 earlier today. Fantastic. Next target would be 60%. If we could get there, there's one candle high close right here, uh, 59.88, that I think would definitely be regarded as some sort of resistance, okay? That's it, though. You exceed this, there's nothing left till 59.88, and after that, there's nothing really left till the 60% uh, market cap for Bitcoin dominance, all right? Or Bitcoin dominance of the crypto market cap. There you go. This is why. And we talked about the scenarios before we even broke out. We said... If Bitcoin breaks the upside, all coins are going to get absolutely neutered, destroyed, okay, which they really are, okay. If it broke to the downside, Bitcoin dominance, clearly Bitcoin would suffer and all coins would start making moves to the upside to the Bitcoin pairs, right? But that didn't happen, man. That didn't happen. We're making our way up, okay, and a measure move just of the descending triangle is at 63%. And if we ever made it to that measure move or the top trend line of the downsloping structure, right? Right up there. If we ever make it there, I mean, that's like 65%. I mean, an 88.6% retrace. X, A, B, C, D, a bearish bat pattern would put you at 65% market dominance, market cap dominance. Okay. 65%. I don't know if we'll get there because of the downsloping resistance it's gonna be real tough i don't know how but you might all right you've seen it before don't seen it before so beautiful baby we looked at total then we're looking at bitcoin dominance and really you know why the total chart looks so good it's all bitcoin because the look think about it the total market cap if bitcoin keeps gaining dominance of the total market cap bitcoin's gonna be a heavier and heavier influence of that blend that total ticker right Makes sense, man. Whew. Anyway. Lee Loudon, man. What's up, dude? Thanks for joining, man. Welcome. There you go, Nicholas. That was for you, dude. All this stuff, you got targeted, man. I did it for you, dude. What's up, Mike D's fitness journey? Welcome, dude. Trading volume is still low, J-Man. Yeah, well, 
most Bitcoin volume is you can't even see it it's all OTC so whatever can we tell you about XRP bro oh my god dude XRP stable coin I am the stable coin now that is XRP all right hmm give me a sec let's look at that Dude, oh my god, man. Oh my god. Someone, uh, Patreon wanted to see something. Oh my god, dude. It's so bad. I don't know if you're talking about the US dollar pair, though. Dire guy. Dire guy, are you talking about US dollar pair or a BTC pair? Let me know, dude. Okay. Sorry, it's, it's try hard, you know, looking at that at the same time. It's streaming. It's tough. Bitcoin Cash, the US dollar on Coinbase doing things. Someone's telling me the Bitcoin Cash is the actual real US or the real Bitcoin. Is that true, chat? Okay. What is it, Pablo? Could happens a Bitcoin dominant squeeze, then alt season? Uh, it was alt season, then it became Bitcoin season, and alts are now destroyed. Okay, they were. It was the whole mantra of this show um, of course is like invest in yourself but dude traders market right like all those trades we had on those assets we had successful ones we had unsuccessful ones and now it's hard finding any way to get success with those bitcoin pairs okay because look what bitcoin's doing the bitcoin dominance once this cracked right here man it was all over for those bitcoin pairs to the bitcoin pairs right or bitcoin sorry Yeah, not hey my grandma owns beanie babies i sent a snap of it i think yes we can look at now sorry sorry we'll uh, look at that all right let's go to ethereum sorry anytime i change the time scale it freaks out give it a sec which one i've been looking at is it uh Bibinex? Bitrix. Yeah, so look at that, man. Look at that pivot right there. You're not bullishly engulfing, close, but uh, it's weird, man. It is not. Okay, so uh, it sold off and is now running again with Bitcoin. All right, so uh, 100%. It was over, no, it wasn't even, it was 113% retraced, dude. And we're talking about, like, the Sega education here. If someone was to, like, trade it, if someone actually somehow got in up here, which I don't know how 180 is, like, that's, like, not really, I mean, the rounded number, maybe. But, like, since the sell-off, you've yielded nothing. I mean, like, you, you didn't even hit the 382 yet. So, I mean, bulls could just very well still be in control here, and we could just, if Bitcoin wants to run up, then Ethereum's probably going to go with it. Even when uh, Bitcoin was lacking in volatility and just kind of doing, you know, Bitcoin had one large green candle where Ethereum went three to four candles straight up. All right, so it's looking strong, man. But remember, what the the in in game goal for Ethereum is is this. Wait, this isn't the chart. Sorry, let me let me find it. I'll, I'll show you what we're looking for. Is this right here, man? And here we go, right? So we're saying that uh, a 1618 Fib extension X, A, B, C, D is up here too at like uh, 197. So uh, 192 to 194 is that PCZ uh, for the bearish Gartley that's been in development since November 7th with the first impulse. First impulse, and then you retrace and you've sold off, and now you're running again. All right. We didn't, we thought, hey, there was a bearish crab here, but uh, there was the. And we just were so close to entry, just didn't get there, and now we're rallying and trying to uh, get up to that that spot again. Let's see if we can get up between uh, really 192 to 200 to see and see what happens up there. Okay, and we'll see when we get there. Will we start rounding out on the histogram from like a peak here to your next peak? Will you show bearish divergence like uh, Bitcoin is? Right, I think you certainly will on the RSI, but we haven't developed that uh, that high yet, have we? I mean, we're trying to. I mean, we're, we're just in the midst of running right now. Okay. Oh, my God. Whoa. 
Why would I have it in my office desk drawer? Ron Francis. Ethereum's going to dump. Yeah, we would like to see Ethereum dump at the PCZ versus here. Like, if you're 173 now, you might as well just keep... Look, you bounced off the 50-day moving average. I think you bounced off the 200 and the 4-hour. But, like, if you're just going to go now, you might as well just go... You broke it down, sloping resistance, too. So, a Momo shift and, you know, Momo shifts like that normally will... You'll get back to a, at least 187, but we would hopefully get, again, 192 to 194, really to 197, right, because of the 1618 of the previous pattern. Vision video, yeah, man, it, it was uh, it was rough, dude. It was rough. I don't know. We had a good time out, you know, and uh, I, sh I shouldn't even have gone live, but I did anyway because it's just it's too fun, man. Like, this is just such a fun environment and community just full of people that get me and my personality and I get your personality. So, I don't know. I think we all just, we all mesh real well here. So, y'all send me drunk or sober. It doesn't even matter, right? Yeah, dude. They're, the Beanie Babies are worth a lot, man. You still have your Pokemon cards from 16 years ago? Uh, it, I think of Pokemon cards, it's all about, like, I think with both of them, the Beanie Babies and the, uh, Pokemon cards all about like the bugs or like the you know if it's there's like a misprint on the card or like or on the tag the TY tag I think that makes it more valuable also like first edition second edition stuff like that right invite doesn't work what you talking about uh, for discord Julia's invite didn't work it should hmm there goes Bitcoin pulled back a little bit I mean yeah, pull back. Wait, dude, I told you. Like, wait for a daily confirmation. That's why I chose to go live an hour later today so I could be there, like, and not be, like, completely expended when we get to that daily close. <laughs> Crash, man. I'm a guy. We're crashing. Kappa. Oh, my God. XRP to BT. Let's look at XRP. Sorry, y'all. I, I we will look at XRP. I think I might do a devoted stream tonight to XRP, all right? Like, uh, you know, we look at XRP to US dollar and BDC first for everything, dude. Okay, so uh, a whole bunch of nothing, man. A whole bunch of failure, right? A failure to uh, make things happen, right? Daily. I mean, yeah, it looks like a uh, guy's bullish and golden candle down slipping consolidation. Maybe we break the upside again. We very well could. But remember, this is the crazy area. Remember that 33 to 32 cent range. Um, we're soon approaching it, all right? Man, it's coming for you. Are you ready? I mean, it's like literally, oh, man, new season of Game of Thrones is out. Ooh, uh, soon approaching the down slipping resistance of a... A channel we've been in since February of 2018. Oh my goodness, man. I can't wait. It's like a... We're anticipating this crazy, crazy... Uh, new season of Game of Coins for... Game of Coins? Game of Coins? For uh, XRP. <sighs> Holding on to some positive momentum, but barely any, okay? I mean, you can't even break the 50 moving average. You're trying to break the 20. It just, dude, I'm telling you... Does no one remember? And of course, you can hate me all you want, XRP people, for just playing devil's advocate and just talking about what was it like. And yes, Bitcoin has dropped. Bitcoin is dropping hard, down 57. Hey, we cracked 5,800. Trying to... Oof. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Confirmation. False breakouts. This is why we're here. So, again, I will pull this up because who cares? The only people that are mad about this or will get upset about this are fanboys that have no rationale behind anything. They're just completely, you can't change your mind. You can't do anything. You just like, some people just won't want to hear it and don't. So this uh, might not be safe for, you know, people that treat assets like sports teams. But we're gonna look at it again. I did a video on this before. Man, Bitcoin all over the place, dude all over the place just now we hit as low as like 5780 and then you know before we were 59 for, you know 5900 this candles crazy man so i'm talking about in the day stuff asia's waking up man all right does anyone remember uh if you were like part of this community like what was happening not on just like bitcoin was 
there was such a lack of volatility. I mean, I remember it so vividly, and it was, I think, some of the dullest time I've ever had as a streamer. I, rem I remember, like, I was doing, like, news on stocks and looking at the stock market all the time because there was just nothing to do with Bitcoin. It was, like, awful. And there was that period where it was like, ha, huh, we were all making fun of Bitcoin as the stable coin or whatever, right, during, like, the months of, um, what was it? September to November, right? From September to November, it was nothing. There was nothing going on the whole time. And so uh, XRP, the exact same mentality. There's nothing going on. It's so boring. It just, you got that feeling, man. I'm get, We get the same feeling that we're getting just leading up to a huge plunge to the downside. And I'm not saying that's going to happen on XRP, 100%, but it's, it's at least worth looking at, all right? Definitely worth looking at. All right, how was the uh, look for look at Bitcoin? All right, this is Bitcoin. No, this is XRP. Sorry, this is Bitcoin. All right, so from the low, let's look at how was the R RSI looking? All right, from its bottom. This is how XRP or how Bitcoin's uh, RSI looked. In that lull time, that price contraction phase, just the same one as uh, XRP on the left. Uh, just like you made your lowest low, right? It's the lowest low, and every time you, you know, you uh, sell off, you make higher lows, higher levels of relative strength. You know, again, higher low, higher level of relative strength. Okay, and then eventually it just came to a breaking point towards the end of the craziness, and then we we dumped, man. So. Oh, it's useless, man. It's useless. Okay, everything's useless, man. Can we talk about XRP. We are talking about XRP. Make a sound check. Is the music too loud, man? Someone, let me know. Thanks. Or many people, let me know. <clears throat> you want some Nintendo rock, man? I don't have Nintendo to give, dude. I'm sorry. What do I think about Dash? It had a great run up in December of 2017. Oh my god. What didn't? Jesus. What didn't? Are we freaking out, man? Are we freaking out? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it was like a crazy lull period, and the exact same crazy lull period we're getting with XRP. And we had a few pumps, sure. Hey, dude, we were able to get in on these pumps. We really were. We were able to get on this pump and this pump. Great, successful trade setups both times. But since then, man, and we even found some some way to <laughs> make a trade happen over here in, in this crazy scrub period, okay? So, all right, Julie, thank you for the feedback. Music's tad loud. See, Julia? It's a tad loud. What's going on? I mean, I turned down like barely any, okay? Yes, fake sound indeed. Are we crashing? No, we're not crashing, dude. We're not. You talking about Bitcoin? No. Whoa. Got scary, man. I thought I almost lagged out right there. Whew, monkey ass. Okay. If you enjoyed that comparative analysis and you're scared, or not scared at all, and you think it's Omega Lol, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks for being here. All right. So be careful. Just be mindful. It's all price action. It's just psychological. It's like what happens. It's like you just sell off and you're just distributing, right? Constantly distribution going on. But then there's a slight amount of accumulation going on. But like you keep hitting the supports, the crazy supports we've held for thousands of years. And uh, the pops you had when you hit them initially were insane. And then they became nothing. And then you just started making the lower highs or you continued making the lower highs. But you still just could not manifest any kind of buying pressure to get you really going. And so eventually the rug gets pulled and you dump. All right. Someone was like, when are you going to go on Alex Cobb's stream? I'm like, when we're sitting at 50 cents or 15 cents. Okay. Pretty much, right? It's okay. I turned it down, right? Binance had a security breach. Uh, holy crap. Can someone with a wrench please send me a link?
Are we okay, man? Let's go back to Bitcoin real quick. All right, people are freaking out. Oh my God, I gotta see it, man. You got me with that Bitcoin? What's up, John G, dude? Great work with the live streams, dude. Hugely informative and unbiased. It's truth. Peace. John G, man, thanks for the seven dollars and seventy-one cents, dude. Interesting contribution amount. Really appreciate it. Is there significance behind that, John G? Let us know in the chat, man. Thanks, dude. John G. Jumanji, man. All right. He's coming for you. Bitcoin, false breaking out, man. It's trying. It's trying so hard. We've got 13 minutes left. Okay. I mean, like, if this is the way it is, man, that's that's some clear A freaking RSI MACD bearish divergence going on. On the four hour, and then you switch to the daily. I mean, that is right there, clear as day. No puns intended because of the time scale bearish divergence being slightly overbought and failing, yes, failing to break above 5844, which had to be broken. We rejected it once, and now we could very well, towards this, the end of this daily candle, could be rejecting it again. All right, divergence is real on the RSI, and it's developing on the MACD. It's a almost, it's like inevitable. It's coming on the uh, MACD, but it's a little trickier on the MACD because it's like, when will the positive momentum stop? Right? When will it start rounding out and start making slightly lower levels of positive momentum? Really, that's when you start saying, okay, it's like this this candle here is like our highest high, and we're making our highest level of positive momentum. So that always means you have a chance of making the next candle be like a higher level, right? So normally you want to like top out and start making lower levels, and that's when you're getting that rounding action on those histogram islands. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Game of Thrones is here, dude. I'm here to spread rumors and fear. Call me fucking cult crypto followers. Word on the street is buying and Scott hacked. I think it's lies. They hold over 700 million tether. A hack would be a convenient excuse to exit scam. BTC 4400 by Friday. Oh, hey y'all. What is it? Alexa? Remind me. What's the reminder for? The reminder is for uh, kills for a living. Said by Friday we would be at Bitcoin or be at forty four hundred on Bitcoin. When should I remind you? Friday at five thirty. Friday should I remind you? Five thirty p.m. Okay, I'll remind you Friday at five thirty p.m. Big up kills for a living. No escaping. You better be here, dude, or get wrecked. Kappa. All right. Okay, thanks, uh, Logan and HG. Appreciate y'all. My bad. I'm sorry. I just said stuff going on. All right? Let's check it out. 15 minutes ago, we have discovered a large-scale security breach today, May 7th, 2019. Hackers were able to obtain a large number of user API keys, two-factor authentication codes, and potentially other info. The hackers used a variety of techniques, including phishing, viruses, and other attacks. We are still concluding all possible methods used. There may be additional affected accounts that have not been identified yet. The hackers were able to withdraw 7,000 Bitcoin in this one transaction. Uh, should I click that? I don't even know, man. I'm just, I don't want Binance, but uh, the above transaction is the only affected transaction. It uh, impacted our Bitcoin hot wallet only, which contained about 2% of our total Bitcoin holdings. All of our other wallets are secure and unharmed. The hackers had the patience to wait and execute well-orchestrated actions through multiple seemingly independent accounts at the most opportune time. The transaction is structured in a way that passed our existing security checks. It was unfortunate that we were not able to block this withdrawal before it was executed. Once executed, the withdrawal triggered various alarms in our system. We stopped all withdrawals immediately after that. Okay, Sefu Fund. Safe and fun, man. Okay, so we must conduct a thorough security review. The security review will include all parts of our systems and data, which is large. We estimate this will take about one week. One week, y'all. We will post updates frequently as we progress. Most importantly, deposits and withdrawals will need to remain suspended during this time. We beg for your understanding in this difficult situation. 
and Bitcoin selling off four hour session lows with eight minutes left. Bounce a little bit. We will continue to enable trading so that you may adjust your positions if you wish. Please understand that the hackers may still control certain user accounts and may use those to influence prices in the meantime. We will monitor the situation closely, but we believe with withdrawals disabled, there isn't much incentive for hackers to influence markets. In this difficult time, we strive to maintain transparency and would be appreciative of your support or appreciative, as someone once said on TTS. That was CZ men or CZ's uh, press lord. Okay, me mega rejection, mega rejection. There it is, running down to the 20 moving average C at 57.33 in just seconds. It's coming, baby. It's coming. It's going to touch. And there it is. We've touched the 20 moving average. Uh, 3618, ladies and gentlemen, was hit. You know, almost hit. 1414 Fib extension was hit. And here we are selling off. Time to back test or fall through. 5683. It's coming, dude. All right. Look at this. I'm telling you, we don't always get market volatility towards the end of the day, but sometimes we do, and that's why I'm here right now. Okay, for this type of stuff. Bearish divergence on the four hour RSI and MACD. Bearish divergence on the RSI on the daily and developed or de was developing our MACD bullish diver bearish divergence on the daily time scale. Get out of here. Okay, it's not over yet, but dude, you gotta think, man. We broke out of a channel we had been in for a long time since the beginning of April, and now we're back in it pretty easily. All right. telling you man this divergent stuff's there it was there oh my god man thanks ceremony dude this is big big if true true if big mark foster man okay so larley dude only 42 million or so hey larley dude we can just go all in on uh meat what is it the meat asset. Whatever it is, okay. Oh yeah, dude. It's coming, dude. Bottom? Oh yeah? Oh, okay. True that. I mean, yeah, you've got that. You do have it. I mean, like a, a trend line like this. Right, like that. Yeah. There you go, man. So, there's a, some sort of upsloping support right there. And, uh, yeah, breaking that would be real bad, man. Real bad. But that's it. That's like literally where we're at. I mean, you falling below 5,700. That's it, dude. That's it, man. But beautiful. The 3,618. Is exact, dude, Ethereum's top was the 3,618. We actually never got any higher than that. We still have not gotten any higher than that 3,618 on the bearish crab over there. And it was great success. Two targets hit. Took a little while, but... Well, not on the first one. The second target took a while, but we got there. Okay. So not Saifu right now, not really, dude. Only 42 million. <laughs> Funds aren't to save you. Everyone gonna learn Chinese. Hey man, maybe. We'll see, dude. Bounce on the 20 moving average, and again, there's that upsloping support that we have not breached yet. Okay. But uh, I guess we don't really have to have the Fibonacci there yet. Really? Well, we did from a low to a high because if this is the swing high, this is the way we'd be Fibonacci-ing. We've just exceeded the 236, right? So we know the golden zone in the short term. Okay, this is just the short term. Here's your, here's your golden zone between 5347 and 5587. That's probably, look, if this is the top, this is where we should expect a, a, some sort of retrace, okay? With this divergence, with us trying, with all, us false breaking out of a channel, you would certainly expect between a 5347 and 5587. But I mean, again, dude, confirmation is so important on breakouts. There are more false breakouts than there are real breakouts. And again, that's why we're here an hour before close, but now in just four minutes. If you're enjoying the live stream, please hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Thank y'all. Yes, Binance was hacked, but somewhat, right? No, beyond meat, excuse me, dude. I don't know, man, people uh, might, well, like, people might literally 
uh, there might be a mutiny on our hands if we looked at Beyond Meat IPO when Bitcoin's doing stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, we will look at it though, man. It's insane. What's it, like a vegan meat IPO, dude? Hey, sounds like it's a better uh, business model than Lyft. Was that true, DT Crypto? What's your source, man? I'm sure you're just kappa ing. All right. <laughs> yeah, DT. It's true. It's like it's hard to say that TA called it with a 7K Bitcoin hack news. I mean, that's true, man. I mean, hey, some news drives the markets. Like that's a pretty big deal, man. But again, it's not really too bad yet. But I mean, this is how it always starts. It's a significant time scale. It's four hour. And until we break this uh, 5700 area, you know, you're still and you've still got that upsloping support, it seems right. But you would just expect much. I mean, a much larger retrace with this. This is pretty freaking significant, man. All right. Big deal. <sighs> for sure, Fizzle, for sure, dude. Yeah, it, I mean, like, look, I mean, 3618, uh, look, go look at the textbook, the harmonic textbook, dude. You cannot exceed a, a 3618. It pretty much renders the pattern useless. But we just so happen to pretty much touch it and a 1414 fib extension. So you had confluence of different fib extensions from different highs and uh, the same lows. All right. Well, different lows, too, because of the way you have to fib. But, uh, dude, that was that was an area, man. Like... Dude, when you have a 3618, a 1414 fib extension, and you got bear stuff, dude, that's like two minutes. And then look left, you had just broken out on very little volume, all that stuff. It just, so many coinciding variables. I mean, how could anyone think about taking a long position when everything on the charts, if you know how to read the charts, is saying, uh, sell off, uh, sell off, retrace at least. That's right, Rock. It's the vegan meat IPO. Oh my God. So Bluey Marriott, dude. I don't know. I don't know the math on that, Louis Marriott. Maybe uh, someone could confirm. All right. Sorry, just reading chat. Okay. <laughs> Do I believe the news is justification for people for price action? Correlation doesn't mean causation. I think it's uh, almost case by case, man. I mean... I think sometimes news can act as a variable or an indicator in itself, right? Where if you're in extremely bullish conditions, like a bullish market, say like you're in that, that 2015 to 2017 area, I mean like negative news is going to be, you know, less reliable and making us dump, right? But, you know, bullish news makes the price prop up and go crazy, right? So, I mean, it's the same thing, like bearish news in a bullish market or bullish news in a bearish market isn't going to help the price much right but again it, it really i mean news is it can be oh hey here's some news aliens we've just discovered aliens they've come to earth right i mean that that's big news but there's also like oh yeah there's news of like hey uh roger ver uh thinks he's satoshi or you know craig wright says he's satoshi i mean that's news but it's like it's all relevant case by case right I guess so, is she? But I mean, again, don't we talk about sometimes there can be that four hour hate? Hey. You're local on the eights. Oh my god, man. A new day has begun as Bitcoin held that 20 for now, but is now breaching. I believe it's breaching that uh, upsloping support we have, right? Nope, it's right at it. Just support. You can put one and two and three and just four here. And you're right there, man. Okay, so. 
Yeah, dude, it did not quite hit the measure move of that diamond, but dang, sure got close, and you were thwarted by what? Invisible lines, man. Called Fibonacci, Fib extensions, or whatever, dude. Okay, hey, coming to back test the diamond. All right, falling through that upsloping support. Larley's little upsloping support, man. Falling through it, dude. All right, selling intensifies. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Let's get rid of the diamond. Thank you, Diamond. You served us well, man. Thank you for the warring between buyers and sellers where you start as a megaphone, a lot of volatility picks up, and then you become a, a triangle, a symmetrical triangle. Those converge, and it becomes one pattern, the Diamond. And there you go. Selling off pretty hard right now as the new day begins. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. So bouncing, 25% trend line, equidistant channel. It seems like that uh, swing low to swing high. I think safe and valid right now. Exceeded the 236. So again, we should probably see 5587 in time. Uh, just because that is uh, the beginning of our golden zone. That is the beginning of the common retrace zone. All right. Let's see that trend line real quick. There it is. See, sh showing a little bit of aggression, selling aggression below it. But you can see bouncing a little bit, right? I mean, this clearly could just be some sort of channel too, right? A little upsloping parallel channel, I'm sure. But uh, whatever, man. Divergence playing, dude. Playing out. Oh, y'all what? Not like, no one said it, dude. This is a brand new shirt, man. I never worn this shirt before in my life, dude. I got it, man. Look, it's Ralph Lauren, dude. I like my... It was just a gift, and it's like, dang, dude, I'm not really a stripe person. This is a serious, like, hi, I'm I'm 65, I'm retired, and I live in Florida shirt, dude. I mean, that's what this shirt is. So I was like, why not, man? Give it a shot. Okay, so 57.10 right now, down about $37 on the new day that just opened three minutes ago. That's right, 7,000 Bitcoin was hacked from Binance strategically and opportunistically Kang Logan says to everybody change your Binance passwords delete unnecessary APIs make sure your active APIs are not trading withdrawal enabled and whitelist your IPs so other IPs can't access it everyone do that now or be destroyed Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. It's true, Deb. Pretty much true, yeah. It's a frat boy shirt. I don't know, Save Arbor. I mean, like, kind of, but frat boy is a lot more plaid, right? Like those, it's like super small square plaid. It's really fratty. This is not really that fratty, dude. Oh, thanks, Crypto Fish and Rock. Oh, they'll be fine. Marlon, of course they'll be fine. All right. What's going to happen to BNB now? Probably not good, man. Probably not good at all. Mega dump, dude. Mega dump on BNB, dude. Look here, listen. Look here, listen. We're going to Binance right now on the big screen. He has mom. We're on the big screen. And famous. Well, the daily time scale, we ran up, hit uh, virtually the 1618 Fib extension at 2573. I mean, you hit uh, 2550, right? That was all time highs. And as you can see, uh, there was an upsloping support. This channel is beautiful. Broke out of it just to hit the top to make new all time highs. Just to say, hey, I one upped you back from. January 2018, but here we are. The selling is commencing, right? Where we were again, 25.50 all-time highs. We're already down to $20.22. 2020, men. 2020. Who didn't see this coming, Kappa? All right. So 50-day moving average is at 1980. We should probably, almost certainly, at that. I mean, like it's so close, and like, why would you not touch the 50-day moving average, especially after news like that and Bitcoin doing what it's doing? Okay, so. 
if that's the case, man, we can start fibbing now. Like use Fibonacci from your major low to high and start seeing where major retrace points are, dude. Okay, jeez. Major low to high. There is no discernible daily swing high besides that major low. That's the fun part. At least it makes it easy for us, right? So we know we've just exceeded a 23% retrace. All right, the fact that you've done that and the fact that there's such little support here gives you very strong reason to believe we would be coming back down to at least $17.35 or so. All right, because that is the beginning of the golden zone. But not only is it the beginning of the golden zone, the 382 retrace from your low to high, it is also the only real support you have until... I mean, that's it. Until we get there, there's no support. There's no looking left support at all. You're in outer space with Matthew McConaughey until you get back down to $17.35. I'll see you down here, okay? We'll see you down there. Uh, we'll be in Florida. We'll be wearing our weird uh, old man retired shirts, okay? Here's your golden zone. Between $12.31 $12 and $17.35. There you go. BNB Connect. Hacked Connect. All right? That's what's happening. Okay. Ho oh no. Ma coins. Great time to remind people to keep what you're not currently trading off the exchanges, aka a hardware wallet. There you go, man. If you're long, you're going to be long on crypto and you're not going to trade it. Uh, yeah, most likely the best way to, to hold is, yeah, with cold storage. Put it in a safe or something. Security or deposit box in a bank that you so hate, right? Or put it underground. Okay, whatever. Thanks, man. Uh, Mr. Monkey S for the $3.33, dude. He said, friendly reminder to everyone. Okay. Thanks. So the news, man. The news. Ooh. High on price. You rallied, made a lower high with negative momentum, lower levels of relative strength. You had bearish convergence right here. Oh boy. But not really moving too bad right now. I mean, especially after the news, you did get a red candle like that. But, geez, man, Bitcoin, crazy amount of bounce so far. As you can see, we're already back up to 57.42. Well, we're at a low of 56.50 up almost nearly $100 from the lowest low we've seen on this four hour candle. Wow. <laughs> Alex calls motivation said, uh, Hey Mitch, hack connect. Yeah. BNB hacked connect. We did it, man. We broke the ball game. All right. Crazy stuff, man. That's, that's a real big rejection right there off that, uh, a lot of these little upsloping support, man. Or it's really the worlds. But you just expect, man, maybe more? You'd see more? With this kind of divergence, you'd expect a much larger move. And I mean, really, the, the daily, now we know it's like, okay. Oh, yeah, see the rounding beginning, right? So now you're starting to say, okay, dude, for real. Look, it was real as F, dude. RSI daily bearish divergence. Look at the rejection to higher prices. We could not break or exceed 5840. We had to. That was so powerful. And now look how we are so far below it now, right? We spent uh, 48 hours or so testing, flirting with that area. 72 hours, right? Whatever, two wicks like that. And it was just nothing. Even though you still somehow bullishly engulfed. But remember, like we could not break. Look, we broke out of the channel only to fail to uh, sustain prices outside of it, right? I mean, that's a big deal, man. Think about it. Upsloping resistance being respected on candle closes and you've got an upsloping support here, dude. It's it's uh, Charlie Bucket time, man. Grandpa Joe, fizzy lifting drinks, all right? It's the squeezing, man, the contraction. It's like upsloping price contraction and something's going to break, man. Something's going to break. All right. Hey, Martin, man, thanks for the uh, two Canadian dollars, dude. Of uh, super chat, man, and thank you, uh, Joshua Smith, Smith, man, for the one dollar super chat. Thank you, dude. Oh okay. yeah. Thank both y'all. But look at that, man. Crazy, crazy little. Uh, I mean, you bounced really off the. Look where the candle closes were. Seventy-five percent resistance, holding that as support for now. Hey, Josh, we man. Thanks for the uh, $1 super chat, man. Appreciate it, dude. 
Oh, okay. Well, you know, Lorley, I've got this one. We'll see. I think it was this. So it was like, I already had that Rising Wedge, but it's like, it already, uh, it already, like, broke it, right? But you're probably not on a daily time scale. So measure move, I mean, really, it's just... Let's see here, real quick. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, look, man, if you have it like that, a lot of the sand just, uh... So the channel, you're saying make it like, uh... Okay, I got you. Yeah, something like uh, not the daily. Let me see, four hour. Okay, let me uh, go to another. Which one was it? Was it Gemini? I can't even remember anymore which one it was. God. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. This is the one I'm looking for, dude. Oh yeah, look at that double top action up there on this one. Jeez, unreal. Yeah, like that. Like, rising wedge-ish, yeah. Gotcha, for sure, dude. No bad. Yep, this had to right, find the right exchange, because like, we're just looking at all these different ideas and stuff. And there it is, man. Uh, of course, you know, we don't look at it all the time, but look, look at the crazy divergence on both oscillators on every exchange, dude. Nothing's different on there. Nothing at all. And it's not just the four hour, it's also the daily, dude. That's like screaming, get wrecked. Yeah, dude, yeah. Well, it's weird, man, because some of these uh, exchanges, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't line up as an ascending broadening wedge, but then a couple it does, and it's just like, yeah. Put your Bitcoin in XRP, it's stable. Yeah, dude. What's up, Mitchell Hill? Thanks for tuning in from... Tajikistan. Thank you, man, for being here. Hopefully I said that right. Alm says the fact that we're not going lower, uh, it's very telling. Well, I mean, like, if you're looking at a four-hour time scale, uh, it takes time for all this stuff to happen. I mean, even in crazy sell-offs, like, yes, of course you get these big spurts, and it's sporadic, and it happens violently, but uh, 8, 10, 12, 16 hours go by, and you keep dumping in that time frame, so... I don't know if hitting 6,000 as a resistance and rejecting it is going to show it at all that we're in some sort of bull market. Okay, like a, like a oh, long sustained uptrend bull market. That getting wrecked. Yes, it is. XRP, the most devil gone. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Big triangle, of course, right? I mean, thing is though, it's like, on this one we didn't really hit it. I mean, you know, let's go to the daily. I mean, it's pretty much just like, you know, you can see triangle stuff. Like, I mean, there's much more data, I know, but like, yeah, of course. Um, this was definitely the downside resistance and there was like horizontal line support or slightly up sloping support So it could have just been like, you know, huge. Yeah, huge descending triangle There was one wick down back here from February So it's like yeah, there was that descending triangle whatever and that's all we did All we did was run up to it and test it. We tested it as resistance it's exactly where we would expect to sell off, man Hey Marlon Mosh, man. Thanks to $2 super chat, man. Kangs, dude. Welcome. Thanks again, dude. Mike Smith, what happened? Who's mad, dude? Did uh did he did CZ hack himself? I don't think they normally do that. I don't know if it's unless you're a masochist. I don't know, hacking yourself is probably not a good idea. 
Is he also going to uh, ransomware himself too? That'll be interesting. Do I think there's anything strateg uh, strategic behind the timing of this hack on Binance, considering it directly coincides with Bitcoin yearly highs? Dude, remember what happens when we try to... We, we as humans try to make sense of things we don't really understand, and so it's almost best to not even worry about it, like that kind, those kind of questions, like, is it strategic? What if it is? We'll never know for certain, right? And if it is, like... What are we going to do about it? All I know is we hit critical resistance points where we kept saying there's a, a much higher likelihood we would sell off here versus running more to the upside. Okay, I mean, well, you know, it was a big deal. It was a real big deal that we were getting a nice bullish engulfing candle and actually breaking it. But the fact that we sold off with 20, 30 minutes left on the daily candle is a huge deal. That's showing rejection at these critical areas, which is good because, you know, our, my consensus is like, dude, I mean, after it runs like this, you normally do retrace, you know, from major lows to highs. Once we find that major high, we don't really know where it is yet. But yeah, man, I mean, there's an upsloping support and there's an upsloping resistance and you're just getting squeezed in between them. All right. I mean, the bottom of the pattern is going to put you at 5165. You ready for that? Are you scared? Excuse me. Okay, please. So, uh, please understand when you hit critical areas of resistance after extreme runs that you've been in since, I mean, December 15th, we've never made lower lows, right? So, from December until now, we've uh, been doing very good things, bullish stuff. Okay. Really nice runs, but it's just not a good idea to ignore daily bearish divergence on both oscillators. And then when you switch to the four hour, we're showing bearish divergence on both oscillators. And we're at the top of an upsloping resistance. And we're talking the ascending broadening wedge on this exchange. And not only that, it's not just an upsloping resistance, it's a horizontal line resistance that converges with the upsloping resistance. It's insane, man. It's like we've got like this most potential amazing cake that we could bake man okay everything on the market saying lower prices at least for the short term for some time and normally on the daily time scale when we get this kind of stuff we get some pretty uh gnarly drops okay this type of stuff just saying oh my god tom says in other news tomorrow is five eight nineteen $589 XRP moon confirmed. All right. We're going to $589 tomorrow, dude. Oh my God. Jeez. It's $46.65, a reasonable long term target. It is a measured move if the channels break down. And also a 618 a golden retrace move of uh what is it since march 26th i don't know man i think uh first thing we should think about is like if you're gonna respect this and if you just know that there's a huge structure we've developed since april 2nd whatever and you're at the top of it you actually broke out of it but only false broke out of it okay and we know the bottom is at 5200 or so probably by the time we would get there it's like 5200 and so like yes there's also like uh, we, we really need to get confirmation here of a swing high. We don't really know, but I think there's only really one way to fib if we develop that or when we develop that swing high. And it's going to be from the December 15th, 2018 low to wherever we decide to top out, which this very well could be it. If that was the case, man, we don't even really know we have an actual uh, swing high that's valid for us to anchor from until we really hit 5294 because that is the 236 all right, a 23% retrace, and that's kind of your rule of thumb for Fibonacci. Like, you don't have a swing high until you retrace at least 23% of the way, for the most part. I mean, that's like a good way of knowing, okay, man, chances are we could just keep running, right? So if that was the high, dude, the golden retrace, or sorry, the golden zone is between 4,200 and 4,881. There you go. Okay, remember 4200 this is way back this is the wall dude this is so north and right now we just tried to break through king's landing but i knew it dude i freaking knew it i caught it at the beginning of the show the stupid humans the stupid humans they had some sort of uh dragon glass mechanism that pushed back our army and prevented us from getting or staying inside of king's landing all right 
We couldn't we couldn't do it, man. So we're back. We're outside the gates trying to get back in, dude. And it might not happen for a while. All right. Jeez. GXRP 30 cents is happening. Oh my god, dude, you're right, dude. You're freaking right. Oh, is that who? Oh, Guy Gamer's uh, letting us know that it was George Soros that hacked Binance. Re? I don't think so, man. Fundu Sefu. Sefu. $5 billion hit in the market. Speaking of, let's go to that. Let's go to the total market cap, right? So, Mr. UK, welcome, dude. Total market cap. Ooh, fail. Fail alert. Look at this candle. It was a nice, big, green, bullish candle. And now, we're not able to get in. We we're unable to break out. False breakout. So, no bueno, man. This was different, man. Completely different story. I mean, we had a nice green candle. Uh, we ran up. We hit from the high to low. We hit a one four one four fib extension, and before that, we hit a one two seven two twice. All right, you were just holding on as a support this area, and then you sold off. Okay. So there you go, dude. Not even happening, man. Not even close. Is this a moment to pray? I don't know, man. I don't know if it is or not. Hmm. So did it hit the top seven? Doesn't look like it. Well, where were they? I think it definitely did, didn't it, Lolly? Where would it be ranked? So how much was sto uh, stolen? Was it 7,000 Bitcoin was stolen? Checking the source here on for, for Binance anyway. Yeah, 7,000 Bitcoin. So, like, you know, we've seen Mt. Gox, which was... Uh, Encompass really roughly seven percent of all uh, Bitcoin in existence at the time. All right, he it was number one. Right, now Gox was number one for sure. But Bitfinex in twenty sixteen, uh, they lost. Uh, you know, hackers stole around one hundred twenty thousand Bitcoin. Right, one hundred twenty thousand, and we're talking about seven thousand today. Uh, that was number two. Bitcoin, Bitcoinica. Right, this, Lolly sent this. Uh, one hundred one thousand Bitcoin stolen. Right. Alan Van, Alan Vane, uh, let's see, they, okay, hack of 25,000 Bitcoin, all right, BitFloor, 24,000 Bitcoin lost in September 2012, Bitstamp, 19,000, 2015, and then Cripsy, they lost uh, 13,000, so it's still not even top seven, right, but it's still uh, really bad, you know, it's never good seeing that, I mean, people are going to be victims of that crap, right, so, if we look around crypto history, all the hacks, the major hacks, kind of a drop in the bucket, isn't it? Compared to some of these top three or four, right? Crazy man. Bat getting wrecked, dude. Oh my god, man. Bat's getting wrecked, dude. Well, it only had a stupendous run, man. It only had a really good one. It only hit the measure move and inverse head and shoulders, hit a one, near 1618, all time highs. I mean, trader's market. But yeah, I mean, I, of course, like, uh, hopefully you would think in long, like the long term, bat would perform better than most because of the, you know, it's like easier to mass adopt something like a, an application, like a browser, right? Uh oh. Oh, Bitcoin Cash is the king of crypto. Oh my god, man. Does that make Craig Wright the gesture, gesture, whatever? Later vision video. So Mr. Etherman. 
How do I think Ethereum will go? I would love, just love Ethereum to hit 140 or 192. Okay, those are areas that we'd love to see, okay? For reasons of harmony. Adrian, that's a good question, man. Maybe, maybe, Kappa. It depends what country you're in, right, uh, Adrian? You can't be expedited to the uh, the west. Yeah, maybe hacking is the best way to go, right? There's not one I have. This thing is Vitrix on the daily. Or a different perspective. Right here, sorry. Oh, uh, no, maybe it's not this one. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was the tether pair. Let me see. That was it, man. That was beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, that's what it seems like it looks like. But yeah, man, I just... Uh, it's a big deal, man. Rejecting higher prices and showing bearish divergence is just never good, man. But hey, Bitcoin, nice recovery. I mean, we were as low as 56... 44, I think, before bouncing. We're up to 57.39 right now. Again, a hundred dollar move. Hacker CZ meme. What? Michael David saying he really thinks this was an inside job from Binance, not only to steal from the Sefu fund, but to market manipulate. CZ and Binance are shady. You really th think, but what is uh you know we thinking as you know we can think all kinds of things, can't we, man? What I loved it, man. I'd love to see 4,200 or 4,880 again, man. And start. Maybe we develop some sort of crazy, huge harmonic or something. I mean, I mean, uh, the if we do fail here to break this, if it just time goes by and we're unable to break it and we sell off, man, and like there's nothing wrong with back testing back here. But we we've made the discussion about what could potentially happen with Bitcoin. We could go. Uh, we could become range bound. All right, we can range bound and you know bounce between 6,000, 5,800, and 4,200 for six months, man, or whatever. I mean, it's so possible. I mean, this right here is just, I just don't know how in the world we go to higher prices with this on, on the daily. It's just, it, it's just mind boggling. And of course, it can happen, but dude, the probabilities involved with selling off are higher than running the upside more. Okay, that's it. It's just a wig, bro. It's just a, it's just a prank, bro. A prank wick, okay. I mean, just go figure, right? Go figure that we respect a crazy resistance. We respect it, man. All right. But again, man, you're like just... Right now, you're just a dragonfly. A dragonfly doji on Bitcoin. Okay. That's true, Francisco. Once a quantum... Well, it's quantum computing. Once that comes around, dude, I don't even know, man. It's going to be nuts. But I think that's like 17 years away. I think that was supposed to be uh, it, man. I mean, dude, what do you want? You hit a 78% retrace from a November 7th high. 70% retrace. That's pretty deep, dude. That's really deep. We actually exceeded that. We made probably like an 80, 82 to 84 percent retrace total. You know, exceeding the 786, but back below it now. All right. That's where, like, each fib node is where we look for price action reversal. Maybe we're getting it at this one. Maybe, yeah, yeah, Brad. Maybe could just be like. All all the other alts that are hitting those areas and they just dump below them. It's like, oh my god. So Robert Adams, man, welcome dude. Alfonso, is it though, dude? Is it really? I mean like quantum computing, what I mean are how far developed are we on quantum computing right now? Okay. There's a lot of stuff. Let me see. 
let's get rid of it. I mean, they're both relevant to us right now. I guess um, we'll make it to where the other one is only visible on the daily. Let me get rid of that real quick. There we go. It'll be cleaner this way. Perfect. Oh, yeah. So we still have our target fibs back from the bottom, right? From the high to the low, 786 confluent with horizontal line resistance. So squeezing hard, dude. Support and resistance. Yeah, we can look at it again, man. Sure, dude. Here's just another uh, perspective. of what could be going on too. And this is like the Bitrix US dollar tether chart. I get I, mean, I get it, man. It's like, oh, whatever, man. Oh, this is really, let me get rid of that real quick. So uh, look what you've got. I mean, all I did was include, we had the impulse and then we started, We you can clearly see a discernible like move up, right? And so I just chose like the bottom and the top, like when the chop began and I got a lot of respect, like the 75, beautiful, and the heart line, it was so nice. The 25, 25, 25, and then the 75. It was like perfect, man. Everything lined up beautifully, and so I'm leaving it like that. And uh, this is really the, I think the structure of everything. So no case, no 7K tomorrow. Thanks for the amazing two thing. Samuel uh, M, man, thank you for the uh, two euro, man. Really appreciate that. Thank you, man. Yeah, no 7K tomorrow, dude. Sorry, man. Maybe not even 6K tomorrow. We'll see, man. We'll see. We're pivoting. We're surely pivoting right now. Um, off the 20 moving average on the four hours, as you can see. Wow, man. That's some strength right there. But again, that's very real. And on the daily, very real. So you're just ticking time bomb, dude. Ticking time bomb on Bitcoin for a more major retrace. Seriously. Well, there you go, man. I feel like Bitcoin, if we are in some sort of upsloping structure, the lowest we could go is 48.76, man, right? You sell off down here. I mean, that's probably a 50% retrace area. At that point, you probably have a 200 day moving average up there. So, uh, I mean, dude, if we decide we wanna re retrace, then uh, again, you got a breaking point of a potential upsloping trend we're in at this time. Well, there you go, man. Top of the channel, it seems, could very well be like 63.38. I don't know, man. Just showing a, a hammer right now. Oh, big gun. No, XRP could very well dump hard as F soon. Okay. I'll see here. All right, so we did it, man. At least uh, we know we did it. Uh, BNB has hit that 50-day moving average as discussed, and we've bounced off of it. Okay, of course. It's a lot of times what you do, but falling below the 50-day moving average, I'm sorry. That is very, very bad for your trend. Okay. Normally when you break below the 50 and the 20-day moving average, uh, you want to run and test that 200-day, which is 11 bucks. but we know um, just breaking this upsloping support here and us breaking the 50-day moving average, we could run real quick. And it's not just because of that. It's because look left, you have all this horizontal line support, or a little bit of it, but you don't have anything until you get there. So it would make a lot of sense to believe that BNB could clearly easily run down to $17.35. All right, someone's asking about it. We've already looked at this, but just based on the news that's come out with the 7,000 Bitcoin hack on the Binance Exchange, why not look at it again, right? Hot finally arrived at 20 cents. Yeah, man, BTC pairs are pathetic right now. There's such little opportunity and that uh, over there. The question regarding, in regards to quantum computing should be who, how, and to what purpose it will be used. Because like, after all, what is real? What's the point? I don't even know, man. It sounds a... Uh, Let's defeat us right there, dude. Excuse me. 
I need you to see something sad here, dude. Hold on. XRP, dude. <laughs> Not XRP. V, v, v chain. Oh my god, man. You want to see something sad, dude? Real, real sad. And it's not good. It's not good at all, man. All right, look at that. We're down to 103 sats. All right, no bottom in. Sorry, dude. No bottom. Look where we're going. Bradford pointed this out. He said, uh, maybe low risk area at 102 sats, or maybe not, dude. That's very, very scary. But here's the thing. Yeah, you might have this. Wedgie wedge action going on. Yes. Incessant selling since our top April 3rd. So one month of just devastation. That's what's going on. Do you see the falling wedge, man? To some degree. Kevin uh, Bar Barbrick, uh, thanks for the $5 super chat. He says, hey, Mitch, love your analysis, but have a hard time keeping up with when Fibonacci is mentioned. Is there a place you recommend to learn more about Fibs? I'm, I'm glad you asked. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, dude, go to my landing page and go to the education tab, and it's all about Fibonacci, fun with Fibonacci. Check out that video, man. I think you'll, uh, you'll have a better understanding of Fibonacci once you have finished watching that. Okay. Kevin, and let me know if it uh, is good or not. All right, if, if you did get uh, value out of it. I've been following you for some time. Just wanted to say that you are awesome. Hey, Jody, you're awesome. Stop talking about yourself. Thank you, dude, for the 20, the big two zero, the Ethereum in the jar. Oh, my God, man. Big deal. Top se uh, session top Jesus right there, dude. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Like any contribution you made the stream gets reinvested so I can provide you with better quality content. And that is empirical evidence, okay? You know that if you've been a regular viewer. From where we started to where we are now, dude, it's beautiful. And guess what, man? Bitcoin's bounce 5780 right now. It's in the green today. <laughs> All right, so still pivoting off of that upsloping support and also pivoting off the 20 moving average. And somehow, some way, making higher lows than the previous low just from yesterday. Unreal. Okay. Crazy world. We live in okay. Robert Adams, I'm glad you uh you're liking the background music. It's a little fish jam music. First time listener. You just subscribed. Well, Robert Adams, man, thank you so much for the, the sub, dude. Uh welcome to the community. You were number seven thousand sixty, dude. Really appreciate all the support. If y'all are enjoying the live stream, please hit the like button, that bell, that sub. Uh really looking forward to hearing Kevin Barbrick's uh feedback on if that Fibonacci video that I produced that you should all watch if you haven't you should you just want to know what the feedback is okay because that video will never go stale it is all about Fibonacci and the education of fibs okay so all of y'all after this stream or whenever you want you can even leave the stream now if you want to go watch that video again it's under the education tab all right so mr. McGoog man how you doing, dude? So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, low risk. Oops, go back real quick. Make this visible on both time scales. See what it looks like. Hmm, interesting. Well, I mean, you had a divergence, but it was like nothing, right? It was just like nothing. Okay. So I don't even know if you have it yet. So low, lower, low, some slightly higher levels of relative strength. But again, we don't even know if it's a bottom yet. We don't even know, dude. It could just keep selling off and just keep getting lower, man, on uh, relative strength, man. We're sitting at 27 right now, 27.86. Okay. So look, you know, same type of stuff. Divergence ended up playing out. And we, uh, oh, good God, man. One day I'm going to get a new desk, all right. So, yeah, you are approaching critical areas of support, 102. I mean, negative momentum is building, though. And, of course, it will be more divergence, right? 
but uh, we don't know when the selling pressure is going to stop. We don't know when this negative momentum is going to start receding, right? No idea. Good news is, look, you keep making lower prices, and what do you do with that? You have receding volume. That's also a bullish signal. That's all. These are bullish signals. So we're getting, or you know, that's one of them. The falling wedge is another. Right, down sloping price contraction, and then you might have some bullish divergence uh, developing right now on the RSI. Okay, so yes, Radford, you're right. There might very well be some sort of opportunity down here, but again, it's, it's to the Bitcoin pair. So if Bitcoin wants to dump, then you're screwed. If Bitcoin wants to pump, you're probably screwed too. It's just not, this is like bad times. Like you had two and a half months to trade these altcoin to BTC pairs unmolested, okay? And now it's like, good luck, dude, have fun. Because no matter pretty much what Bitcoin's been doing, uh, these pairs have been losing value. No matter what, dude. Jay Lewis says, I've watched your Fibonacci video twice now. Good stuff. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it, dude. Oh, fireworks. My bad, dude. It's crap. Fireworks. Hey, Zach Krause, man, thanks for the uh, 10 super chat. He says, uh, hey, man, thanks for the constant work. Don't really understand technical analysis, but come here for market sentiment and the no BS. No, here's my feelings. It's factual. Thanks, dude. Well, thank you for watching and thank you for the support, dude. Really appreciate that. Um, well, dude, it's just like this is the way one must look at these markets. This market's so new and there's very little intrinsic value involved right now and still in a very infantile state, unregulated 24-7 hard to enforce laws on anything and with involved with crypto so uh, a lot of people i noticed have came came to this market and they had not participated in any sort of traditional market and so they were vulnerable vulnerable to really bad advice from people that might have unscrupulous behavior in their mentality okay so very happy to be able to uh, get the opportunity to just I mean, I came from traditional market. That's where I learned most of the stuff I know. It's like from there, not here. So I just have a different, and I think other people have different uh, mentalities when it comes to this market. Okay, it looks like just like a trader's market. But the thing is, even as a trader's market, it's pretty much still your least efficient market to trade in. Okay, let's be candid. All right, let's take a look at uh, BNB to USD, which is taking, oh, it's now falling below the 50-day moving average. We were just a second ago made session lows. Negative momentum still building. You have plenty of room to run to the downside. You're only at 40. You're just now getting into bearish territory on this RSI. The last time we were actually at or below 40 RSI on the daily was when? December 16th, 2018. Wow. Hello, Mitch. How are you doing? Could we also take a peep at bit slash USDT, please? Come on, England. Is that a join? Thanks, uh, three lines for the 420 contribution. Much love, dude. Yeah, yeah, we can take a look. Take a gander. We sure can. I'm sure I'm not crazy. Yes. Okay, so maybe, just maybe, there is potential makings of a varsity athlete coming, but we just don't know, okay? We don't know yet. But it's looking pretty decent, uh, Bradford, on the daily. Need to make note of that. But again, it's a BTC pair, dude. It's been getting destroyed. Okay, hold on. No, I'm gonna set an alert on BNB real quick. If we break 20, we'll hear about it here. That was weird. Bad alert. All right, there we go. Sorry, it took a second. Sometimes, you know, the alerts, they just take a second to save or something. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, we really add it like, I mean, kind of like this. Hey, Nooch, what's up, dude? Thanks, man, for joining. Uh, had it like this, I don't know. Uh, we had a nice channel, then we broke out of it, and I didn't really mess with it um, then, but I think there's... 
you know, it's like impulse slope, down slope, and consolidation. This looks pretty good, man. This actually looks pretty decent. Flood dog, man. What's up, dude? Thanks for the uh, two dollar super chat. He says, uh, "All out at fifty seven oh two, waiting until retrace." All right, man. Well, Bitcoin pivoting right now. It's, it's crazy to believe. I mean, there's still there's like three hours and fifteen minutes left on this far candle. Anything's possible, all right? So we'll see what happens. All right. So okay, I'll tell you this, man. That's some pretty legendary looking consolidation after a nice impulse up i do declare i'm serious man that's great looking stuff there okay we uh only hit a 23 percent retrace or exceeded it probably hit a 20 28 percent retrace or something okay so what do we do and i'm talking from your major high way up there the only discernible swing high we have on this from september 2018 all the way to the, the bottom december 2018 all right since then, we've retraced that much, and we've since sold off at it, which happens because each Fib node, you're looking for price action reversal. You may or may not get it, but that's why we have, we chart them so you can see it, and we did get it here. But uh, man, it's just so beautiful, dude. That's such a nice looking flag right there. I'm sure you'd all agree. Seriously, and, and for that, we can definitely say on the US dollar pair. It could be a bull pull bull flag setting up, potentially, but I think we've uh, retraced probably well, like 38% of the way? Yeah, uh, we just, just below 38% retrace. Uh, we bounced there, we never hit the 50%, which is at 56% uh, of one cent, where it's currently sitting at 61% of one cent. Man, if it is bull, bull, bull flag, dude. Kind of a nice run of the upside, man. Really nice run of the upside. But again, we're, we know the target zone and it's never changed. It has not changed. I'm sure it's probably on the four hour or something. But your target zone has been and will stay this way at 94% of one cent all the way up to 1.3266 cents. All right. That's the target zone for VeChain in time. Again, that's going to take a while. All right. So potential bull pull bull flag developing. Not really concerned so much with the measured move. More so concerned with the golden zone from your major discernible swing high up there. To swing low. All right, there you go. Come on, England. Thanks for the 420, dude. Did that help, man? Did that help? <sighs> Love it, man. Just, just beautiful, dude. It's very good, and I mean, it's impressive. For now, until it just says, "Oh, screw it, man. We're going to zero, right? Because Bitcoin, the Bitcoin's holding right now." So by the dip. Congratulations, man. Sure thing, DT Crypto. Have a good one, dude. Whew. Okay, back to VeChain to VTC. All right. So, which one looks better? I mean, they both look. I mean, this one looks okay, but dude, I don't know. The, what I've been seeing on this market, dude. So many of these assets are at these areas, and then they just break them, and then they just start going, dude, and run into all-time lows, man. All right. Then again, I mean, the US dollar pairs are holding in there a little bit, aren't they? Sure thing, Essex Hammer, man. Anytime, dude. As always, man. Thanks for the 424 uh, people tuned in Is right that now. A if you're joining the live stream, please hit the like button, that bell, that sub. All right, so, you know, let's just say, for instance, uh, for the sake of education, oh my God, man, things happened. Things happened, and uh, we found out that we had inside information that the bottom was going to be literally at 100, 100 sats, okay? So it's like, how do we target, man? How would we target some sort of falling wedge or at least some sort of pivot point from a range, okay? You could definitely say we could be range-bound to some extent, right? You, you were... I mean, you had the higher lows, which gave you the ascending triangle, but it could be argued whatever range. So if you're going to hold this support where we double bottomed, you can just fib from the top, right? Our pinnacle, our peak to that bottom, which again, it's all for the sake of education because we do not know this is a swing low, not even close do we know. But again, it's all about trying to educate and show people how to use Fibonacci so they can be better equipped 
when we do hit these areas, they can do it on their own. They don't have to be here or be screaming, do this, do this coin. You can do it yourself, man. All right. So there's a downsloping channel, and that's kind of an issue, right? So it's like you have to break that too. But, you know, the wedge or a channel breakout, it's always uh, just good to look for the golden zone. And we know the golden zone is 124 sats to 137 sats, right? So that's where we could expect to run if we could bottom. If we could start rounding out on the MACD, if we could not make any lower levels of relative strength and start showing real daily bullish divergence on both oscillators, a receding volume with it to boot, man. All right, this is where we could expect to retrace before selling off again. All right, good looking receding volume. Whew. Holy crap, man. Where are you getting going, dude? We've been going. This is my second live stream of the day, and it's not even my last. One more tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern, maybe. If we play our cards right, okay. Excuse me. So I'm trying, I'm trying to read something real quick. Okay, he wants Zcash to BTC. Or, yeah, Zcash BTC. Um, they're really bad, dude. And like really, really bad. So, uh, Dire Guy wants Zcash to BTC. It's like, dude. So freaking bad, man. <laughs> Daily time scale. Approaching all-time lows on your relative strength. You're sitting at 19. Very bad. Your all-time lows is 17. <laughs> I mean, what can you even do here, man? All right, you can't plot like that because it's like, you already broke out, man. You already broke out, okay? Really hard to think about where we could even do fib extensions too, man. What are you gonna do from this wick to this wick, low to high, to get some fib extensions, man? Right? I mean, of course you can use the miniature, but you've already exceeded the 1618 if that's the case, right? So you try from like this major wick to the major wick, and okay, we broke the 1272. So probably see it down at 8947, man. I don't think, I don't really know if there's any kind of formal pattern or structure here. It just seems like mega dumpage, okay? And continuing to break to all time lows every second. Miserable, man. Miserable. Tons of negative momentum still. Like a lot of it. All right. So, yeah, we could probably expect 89.47 on Zcash to BTC, dude. So bad, dude. So bad. Jeez, dude. Okay, we're going from that low to that high. That's all we can do, man. That's like literally it. I mean, dude, we could try to plot some huge mega channel. Okay, what's that really going to do for us, man? I mean, who cares? This is useless, dude. It's just like... Whoa, get me in here. All right, V-Chain. V selling off a little bit more, all right? Lowest low. 103 right now. We haven't seen prices this low since January 2019. It's been four months, man. Four months since VeChain's been this low on the BTC pair. Get wrecked. Flood Dog says your shirt looks like today's price action. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, man. Dude, I'm telling you, I feel like a retired, a retired Yankee that lives in Florida right now. Oh, good. Jeez, man. Okay, uh, let's get back to VidCon. Why not? But here's your channel, beautiful looking little downsloping channel. Oh, you got support here, you got some a little bit of support, resistance, I guess, right? But yeah, two converging downsloping trend lines with maybe some divergence developing on multiple time scales. Back to Kun base, man. Back to Kun base. Um, upsloping support. Bouncing off of it, not only bouncing off the upsloping support, bouncing off the 75% trend line of the equidistant channel, which we've guarded so many times as a resistance. <sighs> That's it. 
That's what's going on, dude. That's what's happening at this current time. Bearish divergence was up here. It was very real. It was something to take heed of at a 3618 Fib extension. Oh my god. But still showing some sort of a pin bar for now. But again, it's three hours left. So wait for confirmation. Thank God you listened when we said wait for confirmation at the beginning of this live stream when we were looking incredibly strong until about 30, 20, 30 minutes left in that daily candle. Holy crap. Sorry, missed some chat. So Benjamin Weber. <clears throat> so we have more conspiracies. He says, I'm not into conspiracies. But I do find it timely. Binance hack comes out right as we are pressing 6,000 Bitcoin. He says he's short Bitcoin, so he's fine with it. But it does, it does seem to happen a lot at pivot points. So whatever, man. Again, we try to make sense out of things we don't understand. And uh, normally when we do that, we're completely wrong. But we're giving ourselves false solace. Right? So it's best just not to worry about it. It's best to worry. Hey, I mean, 6,000, dude. That's a critical resistance point. Like, that's what you do. Like, when you go on, you have big major impulses up the last a couple months. Like we've had on Bitcoin, you, you run to the next area of resistance. We ran to it, hit it, tried to exceed it, and failed. For now. That's exactly, that's, it's not news. It's just, I mean, then divergence on both oscillators. Are everyone, is everyone just ignoring me? We're talking about this on multiple significant time scales. I mean, that, that will bring the usher in price action like this, not just news. So my fellows, my fellows, two times, dude. For you, 6 p.m. and now 2 a.m. Yeah, dude, it's all it's all jingity jangity, man. Seriously, man. Nolo, where's the music, man? Okay, a little more chilled, I guess, right now. I'm stream glitch. Nah, nah, my stream didn't glitch. If it did, it was probably once, and that was it, dude. Okay. Not much movement in XRP price. Any reason why? Yeah, because it's been like that all 2019, dude. It is the new stablecoin, all right? Francisco is just requoting from that article, or not article, but from like CZ Zendesk. Please also understand that the hackers may still control certain user accounts and may use those to influence prices in the meantime. Remember that. Yeah, that's very true. All right. Did they just do it, man? Did they? They haven't done anything yet. I mean, <laughs> Bitcoin and the US dollar tether is like, it, let's just say on Bitcoin and the US dollar tether, if it held right now, if it closed its four hour candle right now, it'd be making the highest candle close we, we've seen this year. I'm talking about right here, dude. Okay. Dude, it's really it's the flag, man. It's the flag on the mall. So yeah, just up sloping and still holding strong on Bitcoin of the US dollar tether, but uh oh my god man, it's so different, man. It's so much different. In the US dollar chart. I mean, like your divergence, you're still holding on to positive momentum, and like uh, RSI, you were having triple RSI divergence, and now it's like you might not. You still have lower levels, right? But again, there's another peak right here. Yeah, you actually, okay, you still have slight divergence. This is a slightly lower level than this one. Okay, so. Very interesting, man, to see Tether, Bitcoin, the US dollar Tether. Maybe those hackers, man, are keeping the price propped up, dude. All right. They're saying, screw all these people with 7,000 Bitcoin. We're going to use it, and we're just going to hold it. Let's 
excuse me. Holy crap. Oh, does Binance have a... They're having an Ask Me Anything. May 8th. Alright, so tomorrow... What is 3 a.m. Universal time? Someone tell me. So, okay, tomorrow there's an Ask Me Anything. With CZ, Chinpang Zhao. I'm sure he's going to have a fun time with that dude, okay? Waiting for it to look. Hello? Wow, Twitter. I don't know what they're really going to be able to do. I mean, they're taking such strong precautionary measures right now, you know? I don't really know what they can and can't do right now, those hackers. Yeah, it's right here, dude. So, 3 a.m. Universal Time, AMA. Is it going to be a video, though? It'll be a video, or is it going to be, like, just a Twitter thing? The AMA is today. Okay, in two hours. That makes sense, because it's now the 8th. I got you, dude. I got you. It's technically the 8th universal time. That's right. Because we just hit the, the new day about an hour ago. All right. In an hour. Okay. Wait, two hours or an hour? On Periscope, boogers will be picked. All right. Okay. We're going to do this thing, man. going to do it. Oh, my God, dude. Did you? Bradford said he saw me hitchhiking the other day. Is that true, man? Just chilling out, being homeless, dude, but being like a wizard while homeless. Yeah, dude. It's like win homeless, win cardboard box, win plastic trash bag. Okay, dude. Beautiful. Should I buy Pat coin? No one cares about Pat coin, dude. No one cares. A lot of periscope. That's awesome, dude. You just remembered to like Adrian A. How can you do that, man? Unforgivable, dude. All right. Oh, it's night nighttime now. So I don't know, man. I kind of want to. It's kind of more so like this is going on, right? We've got a little bit of drizzle happening right now. So we're gonna do a little rain. A couple clouds rolling. Hey, Eric. Welcome, dude. Oh my god! Maybe something like that, dude? Alright, cool, dude. This is what the weather conditions were currently drizzly and rainy, and, uh, but we don't, but Bitcoin, with all that being said, it's like bouncing and it's making, uh, four hour session highs at 57.89 right now. Alright. Up $36 on the day. Bouncing off the upsloping support and also bouncing off the 20 moving average. Crazy dude. Cardboard wallet. There we go, dude. Eric A., there's your answer, dude. The Lords have spoken, man. marathon dude i don't know man i've only i've been live for two hours now and i and you know the whole point of me going live late was like one hour but then there was like crazy hacks going on so i've been you know, three hours now today of live streaming officially okay and i'm supposed to stream again tonight man fit bro what you up to man you predict a riot, Jonathan Peters, man? Getting scary, dude. Getting really scary. Dude, there's something called strong hands. Really? Is this real life, dude? 
I don't know, man, if this is real life or not. But uh, Bitcoin to Tether looks good, and Bitcoin to the U.S. dollar is actually looking decent. It's recovering kind of right now. Crazy. Just let's look at that, man. And your positive momentum still building a little bit right now. Unreal, dude. Okay, look at this craziness, dude. So there you have it, man. Um, this is the 20 moving average I'm talking about. The yellow line upsloping, right? And then you've got the white trend line where you bounced off of it. And right now you're just bullishly harambeing, but it's so strong, dude. It's acting so freaking strong right now. It's ridiculous, dude. Okay. What's up, Todd Jones? 20 bar stream. Re. Uh, all of, I don't even I have no words to what all of them just said okay if you read it I have no words obliterating my TA obliterating it I don't know man like is it obliterating my TA because uh, I don't know man it's not over yet so uh there's nothing wrong with holding a support. Like, dude, we know bullish conditions. That's all that's happening right now. We bring out that we, we on, I think it was Tether, US dollar, or Bitcoin to Tether. We had it. We had a false breakout, right? But hey, man, we had a false breakout of this upsloping channel, too. So I would just uh, give it time, man. Just relax and give it time on this. But you got to be uh, really, cool, uh, really happy to see the the strength involved with a pivot. But again, if there's two hours and fifty one minutes left, anything's possible. To where it, like it just okay, this is good now, but then it sells off, right? Because look what's happened. We've fallen back. We're about to start testing fifty eight hundred again. Okay, you're gonna start seeing some wicks right here. Okay, you're gonna be testing the crap out of this over and over and over again. Okay. You're going to give it a shot, man, okay? Since you requested it. I'm writing it down for tonight here again, okay? Alright, it's written down, dude, okay? Uh, Binance should drop well it did it did really drop for a second so i'm not really sure where we're at now well it's bouncing it's showing so much strength man bnb to the us dollar teller is bouncing off the 50-day moving average what are you talking about junior junior why are you saying that good like it happened it didn't happen is a pizza coin market cap above two hundred dollars still? I don't think so, man. I think they, uh, I think someone ate some of the slices, so they're probably down to at least uh, half, so like a hundred bucks market cap, right? Pizza coin connect. Hey, dream's good, man. I mean, we had a, I had a great time, and then came back and streams last night. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, man. I don't know. Like, I'm just still just hanging out with y'all. I mean, as Bitcoin craziness happens, CZ is uh, doing an AMA soon in like an hour or 50 minutes or something. So, great news. Okay. So, okay. We know that 5800, critical resistance, upsloping resistance, 5846, converges with the horizontal line. Resistance, right? I'm talking about way over here. This is insane, and look, we're below it right now. Okay, 
remember like that we are recovering right now just remember this until we break above 5806 man peasantry all right and the reason I say this is the daily watch the daily where are we man whoa dude it's like lagging ah here we go my bad so here it is dude I guess it's a little off. So you've got like uh, multiple wicks, right? I mean, you zoom in so much, dude. Or you zoom, you, you do this when you're zoomed out. It's not, it's not gonna be as pinpoint accurate, but right there, perfect. 58.48, and the wick is 57.90, and there's one more wick right at uh, 58.18, okay. So three little wicks and stuff, okay man. We're just sitting right at 5790, which is the, the bottom one. Okay. So again, even if you break this and hold it, you have to break 5850. We tried it earlier, we were above it for a while, and then we fell right below it and closed below all these areas of resistance. You closed below them. Not good. Now you're trying to work yourself back up and get back above them. As you can see clearly right now. Making a good attempt. Okay. That's it, man. I don't even know if Pizza Corn was real. I was literally kidding. I've just been memeing right now. So. Take heed of the yellow horizontal lines, man. Those are big deals. Big deals. Ron Burgundy level. What's up, Mason? Man, I can't wait till I'm like getting done like my beard the way it works. So like, you have to like really let it overgrow. I just can't wait till it's all done. Because obviously it like grows in faster in some areas than others. So it's just a work in progress, man. Dang dude, back above twenty dollars on Binance the US dollar. Twenty dollars and fifty nine cents right now. Holy crap. Uh-oh, market manipulation at its finest, is that true? It did recover nice. But hey, man, bulls have the ball right now. So until we really break 58.50 convincingly, man, still uh, really, really froggy. Okay, still really froggy. Todd Jones, what? All right, Mark Foster, sleep well, dude. Have a good one, man, all right? Thanks for being here, and thanks for all 360 of y'all tuned in. Hey, let's get a like spike going. See if we can get over 200 likes right now, man, and be Kangs. Can we do it? Extended coverage. Been live two hours, 11 minutes. Went live today at 3.30 Eastern. So over three hours of coverage of this market for you. Thanks. And it's so crazy how we exceeded these insane resistance levels only to hit a 3618 and a 1414 FIB extension. All right. Before selling off. And from a low point to high point, we hit a 23% retrace, which is a big deal. It shows like, hey, man, that might be the real swing high. Taker is pizza. Oh, my God, dude, really? Oh, definitely not on trading view. <sighs> Pizza Connect. I'm about to get some dinner, man. Oh, Ron Burgundy has a podcast? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. How does he even find the time, man? Well, holy crap, man. Thanks for the 223 likes. That was quick. Y'all are amazing. Oh, my God. CXXM, aren't we all wishing for a climb? I mean, you can wish all you want, but uh, you know we just go based on what the chart's telling us, and the chart was telling us bearish divergence of both oscillators, and not only that, but daily bearish divergence too. But the pos positive momentum is just finding a way to continue building on that daily, so it could just keep going. But uh, with such overhead resistance, man, it's hard to say if we'll be able to sustain prices above it for longer than we did. Because we're right. 
below it right now. Okay, so until you break 5850, it's uh it's below the critical resistance. Alright, remember the way we're looking at this one? The tricks, right? There's not much data here, but there's just enough for us to see how amazing this chart looks, right? In terms of just like, well, remember what happens when you dump so hard? There, you build no support. Dead zone is just like nothing, man. It's a wormhole. So when you eventually break it, you, there's nothing there. But when you start getting to resistance, that's where you start potentially sell, selling off, okay? But the fact is, when you get to a resistance point, you're showing a pr kind of bearish pattern. And when you're at the resistance... And you're also from a high to low, a 70% retrace, and you're showing bearish divergence on the daily RSI and MACD. I mean, that, that is like when you use, use coinciding variables to help you come to a determination that there's a greater probability that we would sell off than breaking out of it and running to the upside cleanly, right? It just, I, that's all I'm telling you. Of course, it can change where you this positive momentum just keeps building and building and building and higher prices and higher prices. And even if you go to 60 or to 6400 or 6300 you're still gonna have bearish divergence at some point but it's just we thought right there it was gonna stop but it's still building okay if a major retrace was to occur from a low to a high you'd be looking between 4200 and 4881 all right <clears throat> That's right, my dude. Fun times, dude. We're having fun times. Is Houston flooding right now, dude? Really? I mean, it's, uh, it's coming for me sometime. I'm coming like four, four days, three, four days. Teaser like a tweezer. Tweezer double top. Oh my god, dude. Really? Is this a joke, man? I, I smell effery. This sounds like a joke, dude. Justin Sun, Tron Connect. To support Binance, I will personally deposit uh, 7,000 Bitcoin worth of US dollar tether into Binance to buy BNB, BTC, Tron Connect. No need to FUD. Funds are sefu. Wow, dude. Really? And you retweeted it. Get rest, Robert. y'all hear that everything's fine now because justin sun saved the day wow modern day santa claus wow that is an insane looking grill right there well with what's in it anyway Yeah, links get deleted all the time, especially if they're not from mods. Okay. No, they. It's like if you're not a mod and you post a link, it's all, it's all pretty much certainly gonna be deleted. That's just how it works, man. Do you understand how many people are out there trying to get you to cl click on phishing links that'll immediately like screw you, like with one click? So we just don't we don't deal with it, man. There's too many people, too many things going on, too many new people coming in and out. All right. Of course he does, vet bro. Of course he does. Yeah, I don't know what in the world's going on with the old Justin Sun scrub thing, but uh, whatever, man. Be interesting man the AMA with uh CZ dude coming up and I think like 40 minutes or something right Santa Claus nice one vet bro I, was, I figured King Logan would have said Santa Claus man it's pretty witty 
Yeah, he's trying too hard, man. Way too hard. Go to my bed. Hey, what's up, CC dude? Much love, dude. Dude, holy crap, man. Thank y'all so much for the 242 likes. Y'all are incredible, man. Eight more likes to 250. Is it even possible, dude? Let's turn off the uh, the clouds, because, I mean, like, dude, not looking very cloudy right now, is it? So we can just keep it a little bit of light rain. Okay, a little bit of light rain because of all the uncertainty going on. With what? Biden's getting hacked, man. That warrants a little rain. Someone replied to Sun's tweet, but sir, deposits are suspended. <laughs> wow. Dude, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, when you're born and raised in a culture that uh, is really, like, the, when the government just lies and censors and kills its people, man, you should expect the culture to be kind of screwed up, okay? Uh, Chinese scruples... Chinese people's scruples could be lacking in a lot of ways. And it's not their, it's not their fault. It's just like the environment they were born and raised into, okay? And remember, if you try to post a, an affiliate link to gain any kind of coins for referrals, you will be hidden, okay? I don't care who you are. You will not come in my channel and you will not post referral links to gain money. That's like, no, you're not doing that here. You can do that somewhere else. Go build your own community and do that to your community, okay? It just doesn't happen here. Just letting that, letting the air be clear here, okay? That's right, Mr. Illusion, America, baby. The only way Justin Sun can fix this is by putting 7,000 Bitcoin worth of Tron on a roulette and giving it to CZ. Yeah, dude. Truly. It's all good, though. No worries. Tron's the next Tether Connects? I don't know, man. I mean, like, hey, it's holding up better than a lot of these S-Coins, the unknown S-Coins. At least Tron's probably holding up because they had... Pretty nice marketing campaign, the great FOMO, dude. Still looking like a scrub, though, man. Jeez. It's really weird, man. All right, with Tron, speaking of just the booger picker, booger eater himself, whichever one he did, don't really care. All right, you see, like, here's a chart, here's a daily chart, and you're seeing, like, divergence on both oscillators. Add a 78.6% retrace from a low to high -y. So, that's good, but where's the buying pressure? Why is it not picking up? Why is nothing happening here? I mean, you're also at a critical support, too, looking left. So, this might be an area where we could see a nice reversal, but, dude, there's no pattern development. And it could just as easily run down to the 886, which is at 350. You ready, man? We're going to drop 50 more sats, dude. Because, like, you're still below the 786. I mean, this was it. This was the rally you got, Tron. No wonder Tron or Justin Sun's tweeting about this. He needs attention, man, because no one cares about his crap. Crap coin. He almost rage quit his pizza order. I didn't see him almost rage quit his pizza order. Dude, I couldn't imagine trying to do any kind of online gambling, dude. I mean, it'd be too easy to mess with the programming to make it just favor the house every time, right? Excuse me. Tron Connect. Booker Connect. Okay, so uh, we're just looking at the Bitrix chart. I know this one looks very similar to the Bitfinex chart, alright? Uh, somewhat. Uh, in terms of the ability that, well, I mean, 
most have just been upsloping flags. This one's more of like two diverging upsloping trend lines, which is an ascending broadening wedge with a bearish uh, pattern. So um, soon we're going to run out of space, man. You've got an upsloping resistance and an upsloping support. You're out of room, man. You can go up at 58.98. That's it, dude. Like probably one more day, if that. I'm surprised today is not the day. But it very well could be. We have 23 hours left, man. I mean, when was the last time Justin Sun Periscope, dude? Really? Okay, y'all. So, look, it's been a great stream. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna do a rundown real quick. Flood Dog Man, Three Lions, Zach Krause, Jody Dude coming in with a 20. Session Top Jesus, thank you so much for that 20, Jody. Uh, Kevin, Barbrick, Samuel M, Mark Foster, Monkey S, Kills for a Living, John G, and Gene DeMarco. Thank you for the $20 super chat. And Todd B, thanks for the $2 super chat. And that's it. Appreciate y'all a lot. Thank y'all so much, really. Because um, y'all, I'm able to come back multiple times a day and do analysis on these assets for you. Okay, and I'm able to help educate and show you the stuff that I've learned over all these years. And uh, I, I get, a lot, have, get a lot of fulfillment out of it, and it's a lot of fun for me, okay? You know, turn my hobby into a job, and it's just, uh, it's been magical. Magical experience these past 15 months with y'all, okay? I think in two days, it'll be a, a literal 15 months, okay? 15-month anniversary or something. All right. So again, concluding my second live stream of the day. I got one more ahead of me, and it's not far away. It's... What, an hour and a half? My God. Okay, so I'll be back maybe for a short stream tonight, okay? Thank you all for the new subs, the old subs, the likes, the dislikes. You're all, you're all incredible. Hit that like button on the way out. Let's see how many likes we can get before the stream ends. Appreciate you. We'll be back tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern. So until next time, respect the T. Hey.
good. My name is JP. I am a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. I am not a mule. Adios, turd nuggets.